Ladies and gentlemen, can you please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Can I have you stand please and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Tina Cardoza. <laughs> <laughs> and 
Is that it for council people? Dennis Yaneri here? Okay. Oh, Rita Mintz is here. Where's Rita? I had these seats here for you guys so I would remember nobody sat up here. <laughs> Hi, Rita. <laughs> okay, we have Michelle Dubois. Thank you, Michelle. Hi, Jeff. Way in the back. Jeff Thompson, Ward 5, City Council. Okay, for school committee, we have Joyce Hayes. Actually, they were smart, the school committee. <laughs> Cynthia Rivas Menz, Ward 2. And we have Tony Rodriguez, Ward 3. We have the awesome Tony Branch, Vice Chair of Southeast University. Marlena Meddy. Just because you sat in the front. Okay, we have Phyllis Ellis from Brockton NAACP. Miles Jackson, Secretary of uh, uh, NAACP. Anthony Dunnigan, former Ward 3 School Committee, is here, and he's also on our Oversight Committee. Mark D'Agostino, Ward 3 School Committee. Uh, who else do I have here? Timothy Sol Solomon, Ward 7 School Committee. <laughs> Judy Solomon, Ward 5 School Committee. Adriana Cabral, Inclusion Family Center is on my list. <laughs> and Denise Baker, Inga, I'm going to mess it up, Denise. <laughs> but Denise is here. <laughs> Hi, Denise. <laughs> okay, did I miss anyone? He's next! He's, he's not forgotten! Okay, and so we have the, the finest of the finest here. We are so blessed. Our mayor, Bob Sullivan, is here with us. He's going to say a couple words. And Superintendent Mike Thomas. So I'm going to turn this over now to, um, who's doing this? Tony. Is it Tony next? Mr. Donegan, come here, put you on the spot. Thank you all. Have a good evening. Hello, everyone. I promise I'll be brief. Um, I did want to say that uh, this past summer, I saw this committee or with this program being in its development, and I knew I had to be a part of it. And I thank you all so very much for coming here tonight. Um, I promise we have a good agenda for you, and we'll stop talking so that you can get to that. But first, I'd like to introduce Mayor Bob Sullivan. He's a man I've known for many years here in Brockton. He's a great guy, he's going to be a great mayor, and he wants to say a few words to you, so thank you. Good evening, everybody. This is an awesome night, isn't it? It's an awesome, awesome night. I want to thank everybody, everybody that made this a reality. This is what makes Brockton Brockton. We come together as one for a purpose that's going to better the community that we call home. This is going to help our citizens, our community, and our city. And I am just so proud to be here with everybody. And I want to especially thank our great new superintendent, Mike Thomas. With Mike's leadership and the leadership of the city council and the leadership of the school committee and my leadership, we are poised for great, great, great things ahead in the city of Brockton. God bless you all. Thank you, thank you. I want to apologize, I didn't introduce the person that is here every day running this facility right now. <laughs> Principal Lynch, I'm so sorry. You want to say, <laughs> say something? I apologize. It is a thrill. You know what? I, I am so excited to see everyone here. Thank you so much for being part of this. Brockton is wonderful. I, I, my children went to school here, now my grandchildren attend school here. I am thrilled that you're here. Thank you so much for being part of this wonderful, wonderful event. Thank you.
Well, I have been corrected, so uh, I'm taking people out of order, and I apologize for that. But I do want to introduce you all to my good friend, Mark D'Agostino. Mark replaced me on the school committee a few years ago in Ward 3. And he's here tonight, and we'd like to welcome him.
so we can support parents and families. So this is just, I never thought that it would grow into this, and I gotta thank the Oversight Committee for what they've done. I also wanna thank um, former Mayor Moses Rodriguez and the, the, the school committee. Current Mayor uh, Bob Sullivan and the City Council for because when I brought this idea to them back uh, after we planned for a couple of months, I started to talk about it at the school committee meetings back in September, and uh, they were behind this 100%. And without the support, their support, this would not have happened. So I really appreciate that. I also want to recognize some people here. I want to thank Principal Diane Lynch for her support. I want to thank Executive Director of Operations, Dr. Cox, for put a lot of time into this. I also want to thank uh, Sharon Walter. She is our chief um, chief officer of all students. <laughs> Soraya the Barrels, our new director of community schools, is also supporting this. We also want, I also want to recognize um, my old friend Denise Baker Bradley, who started with me. She and I opened the Boys and Girls Club together back in 1992. So I was a 19-year-old junior at Bridgewater State, and Denise, I think, was only 18 at that time. And um, she and I were on the first Boys and Girls Club um, staff when it first opened its doors back in 1991, actually. And, um, and we've always had dreams and things that we could do to better the community, and, um, and this is one of them. So Denise, thank you for all of your support and always for your thank you. So there are a lot of other parents that did not, you know, obviously didn't have all the time it took to be on the oversight committee, but there was a lot of other parents that played a role in helping us out. I want to thank them as well. So we open, we open officially next week, and we'll be open four nights a week. Um, from 5.30 to 9.30, we'll be open on Saturdays from 10 to 2. And I also want to thank one person I don't want to forget is the, the president of the Brockton, the Brockton Education Association, Kim Gibson, who also has been a big supporter of this community center. And Kim, along with her teachers, will be supporting the center with tutoring. Uh, guidance counselors will be supporting with help with college applications. And adjustment counselors will be helping with um, different things that students and families deal with that, that need some support. I also want to thank the, uh, the Brockton Public School Special Education Department and CPAP for the role they're going to play with. Uh, so there's a lot of people to thank, and again, um, I'm really excited about this. I know it's going to be a big success. I appreciate everybody being here, and uh, God bless you all. Thank you. I appreciate it. Up next is another woman I've known for a long time. We got to know each other, I think, um, more or less through the Council of Chords, which is a, uh, I, I, I hate to even say, a, a music and singing group. Uh, we play folk music, and every now and then we get together and we play, and you may see us on YouTube. But more importantly, Shirley is a wonderful advocate for this city. She's a great mom, she's a great friend, and she's up next. Well, good evening, everybody. Um, it's truly wonderful to see such an amazing turnout. I know everybody's mentioned it, but I can't not, not mention it again. Um, first of all, I know the superintendent was just up here thanking everybody, but I want to thank him because he came up with this innovative idea for using an empty space, and opening it up to our community and a, and a special thank you to the committee that worked with him to make it possible. Um, they, I know they worked long and hard. This has taken many months, but um, their idea has become a reality. So congratulations to all of you. I'm very happy that this location is in Ward 7. 
but it's going to be available to the whole city, to the whole community, the Brockton community. Um, once again, I extend my congratulations and best wishes to everyone because we're all lucky, we're all in this together. And um, I look forward to welcoming everybody through these doors of the Brockton Community and Family Center. And I may be wrong, but I don't think so. The last but not least of our Brockton elected officials is up here, and he'd like to say a few words to you as well. Uh, also from Ward 7, he's the school committee man, and his name's Tim Sullivan. Welcome to the Good evening, everybody. Great to see everybody here. I just wanted to say, about two years ago, when Kathy Smith, the old assistant principal, was talking about closing down this school, phasing it out slowly, the sixth grade, the seventh grade went, now we're down to the eighth grade only. I was hoping that a building this side in Ward 7 was not going to be abandoned. Towards kids, hanging outside, breaking windows, tagging the building, graffiti, drug addicts, homeless people, people breaking in. So I was really impressed when Mike Thomas came up with this idea to make a community center here. I thought it was a fabulous idea to, to keep this building moving, to keep people in here. And as you all know, even though the eighth grade will graduate in June, we still have to pay for the heat. We might as well get something in here to use it. And this is just a fabulous idea. And the other thing I noticed, I didn't know until really tonight that I had to speak. So I would have got a speech ready for you. I'm sorry about it, but this is off the cuff. But I just wanted to thank everybody for coming out. I got here about five minutes to six, and I figured to myself, I'm going to get here early so I get a good parking space. Wow, was I wrong. I'm parked way down at the basketball courts. I'm on the show which direction it is. I had a walk, it seemed like a good mile to get in here. The people who don't live in Ward 7 know that this, this auditorium right here, about five years ago, was leaking like a sieve. I'm pretty sure the city had condemned this building. They went door for walk, they couldn't let the kids in. So they had to come to Christmas place. So the state, Brockton Public Schools, and the city of Brockton put a ton of money in here to open up this auditorium. Yeah. I'm really glad to see all the people in here tonight. It looks great. Thanks again for coming out. And I hope everybody has a good time. Thank you.
and health and safety with nutrition, mental health awareness, uh, violence prevention, and one of the program providers supporting that is Love Life Now Foundation. So now I want to introduce Ginny Gonzalez Diaz.
not my race. I bet we could be a warm head for the teammate. And maybe we're friends. Will you be able to dance the tip? Will you be able to dance the tattoo on your head? Yes, and even better in these shoes. Yeah, I think I'm out. 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 I'm
I guess we just know we had a battle, and I'm still recovering. I'm still recovering. Great job. And also, GG Production, Jenny Gonzalez, thank you so much. We appreciate that. Um, the superintendent's still in the building, Mike. From real, come on up, Mike, come on up. Mayor, come on up. Um, real quick, I have a special announcement. Um, like, like these young ladies said, unity in the community. We can't do anything without the unity in the community. So I have a special announcement. Can I have Frank, his son Carl and Liam from Liam's Front Home Furniture come on down? Their crew, come on down, gentlemen. Yo, give them the African beat. They're about, they're about to dance down here. Give them the African beat. So give, give Frank, Liam, little Liam, call the crew of us. He's a, little, he's, he's a little shy. So basically, Frank graduated from North Junior High School. <laughs> Robert McKinney graduated from North Junior High School. His son graduated from North Junior High School. Robert McKinney's son graduated from North Junior High School. His little sons are graduated from North Junior High School. They remake North Junior High School. <laughs> and his stepson graduated from North Junior High. So we have a lot of alumni here. But the most important special part is Liam's Whole Furniture donated $3,500 worth of furniture to North Middle School for the Parents' Lodge. So we appreciate it. So that was a special surprise for the superintendent of schools that didn't know about that. But thank you very much, everyone. We appreciate you. It takes a community and you guys deliver. Thank you so much. And they deliver the furniture too. You deliver. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. You know what? Tina Kajos just said we're gonna donate room 104 to Liam's Home Furniture. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, and also the cultures are brought the colors, black and red. Let's go, boxes. Thank you. All right, can you guys have a seat? Relax, relax. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. That's what I like it. Thank you. So when I look out here, this is what brought us on the boat. I see the unity. I see the diversity, I see the smile on the face, and I love it. It brings joy to my heart. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you all. So now I'm going on script, okay? Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to celebrate with us this evening. I'd like to thank our superintendent, Mike Thomas, who has given me the opportunity to lead such an awesome endeavor, and to my family, who are my constant support system. I love you. Thank you so much. Today is, a, today is a new dawn and a new day. It's my hope that kids, parents, citizens attending this community center will be empowered, build courage to speak their truths, and become agents of change, always striving to make Brockton in the world a better place. 
In 10 years, it is my wish that to hear a student who utilizes his center say, it's not what Brockton could do for me, but what I could do for Brockton. As many of you know, I grew up on the East Side Projects. On Friday nights, my mother created a safe, a safe place, a, a safe space, and a safe zoning in the midst of crack dealing and shootings. She opened the community center in, the, in our housing development. She ensured that all the children had an alternative to hanging in the streets where I witnessed bloodshed and terror. Upon witness, witness such, I realized I had to continue my mother's legacy and become a beacon of light and a catalyst for opportunity in Brockton. I dedicate this center to my mother, Juanita Lewis Spears. As we continue her legacy, and as I follow the footsteps of other community leaders, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart and welcome. Say I believe. I believe. 
back to me. If you believe in God, can say, I believe. I believe. If you believe that there's a better day in this city, say, I believe. I believe. Now, bow your heads in prayer. Father God, in the name of the Jesus that I serve, Lord, I ask that you bless the occupants in this building. Lord, I ask that your grace and your mercy be upon their life. Lord, as we leave this place, I ask that you bless them, that their travel and the love that they have in their heart for this community be reigned upon each and every occupant. Lord, we want you to bless this building. Let there be safety. Let us encompass everything that surrounds unity. Lord, we are diverse. Lord, we are a part of you. Lord, you are in our spirit. In the name of the Christ that I serve, those that believe in the redemption, please say amen. Amen. Yeah.